Uh, can you talk about your thoughts about the World Championships in 2019? Yeah, it was a good tournament. I mean, obviously I wanted to win, so uh, that stunk, but always learning whether I win or lose and uh, uh, got to wrestle some good guys, so now I'm looking forward to this tournament and continue to uh, compete this year. Yeah, first time you weren't in the finals, but it showed a lot about you um, when you ever come back and fight for that bronze medal. Uh, what was the message after that semifinal loss? Well, I always think about it the same way, just um, when I compete, uh, I'm trying to win and, um, you know, I want to glorify God. Every time I step on the map, I give it 100% effort. So that's uh, what I was thinking about. And it doesn't matter if I'm in the wrestlebacks or bronze medal match or gold medal match. That's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, and after Nur Sultan, the announcement came of you moving from Ohio State to Penn State. Um, what was that? What was that move for? Just, just uh, obviously Ohio State has done. Ohio Regional Training Center, Ohio State has done a ton for me and uh, I accomplished a lot with the help of them. Um, There's so many people there that have had massive impacts on my wrestling, my faith, um, so I'm super thankful for all of that. And uh, yeah, going to Penn State is um, just, I uh, feel like change will help me improve and um, it's helped so far. What improvements have you made so far being in, at, at Penn State? I'll uh, check it out when I compete. Yeah. And, uh, just having the opportunity to train alongside Bo Nickel, uh, David Taylor, those guys, what has that been like for you? It's been great, yeah. I mean, the room's loaded. People ask me who I wrestle with the most. It's like I don't wrestle with anyone more than the other because there's just so many guys to go with. Bo, like you said, David, Varner, Kale. Thompson, um, college guys, Brooks, uh, Nevels, Kassar. So there's a lot of really high level guys to wrestle with. And, um, you know, even Bexod and Gomez and Jaime Espinal, there's just a lot of guys to go with. So it's been good. Looking forward to 2020, obviously in lift gear, uh, target on your back because you're looking to defend that uh, 97 kilo gold medal from the Rio Olympic Games. What are your goals heading into this year? Um, well, my goal on Friday is to win the tournament here. And then every tournament that I wrestle in after that, I want to win. And um, that's what uh, I compete for. That's, what, that's why I, that's the rules of the competition. Come here, try and win the thing. So that's what I'm going to try and do and um, take each competition step by step. So I'm not looking forward to anything in particular. Just, yeah trying to wrestle as well as I can here. Um, and April, obviously, the uh, Olympic trials for you guys. Uh, Bo Nickel, the announcement of Bo moving up from 92 to 97. Um, has that impacted your guys' relationship in any way? No. Yeah, me and Bo have known each other for a while, so it's all good. And, um, yeah, I mean, we wrestle with each other just like we would if we were going to go opposite weights and or different weights. and. Um, I think part of the reason why it's so easy for us is uh, both being Christians, it's like, you know, wrestling's not the biggest thing in our life, and uh, we value the same thing. We have the same spirit living inside both of each, of, of, of each other, so it um, makes it easy to just be normal and go move forward. Uh, and Jaden Cox hasn't announced where he's going yet. Um and you guys have had some epic matchups dating back to the Fargo years. Uh, would you welcome him to the weight class, or, or what are your thoughts on him going 86 or 97? Doesn't matter, either way. Um, he'll make the choice to do what you know he thinks is gonna be the best option for him. So, um, yeah, and we're friends as well, so it's all good. All right. Cool. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it.